Hän var då. Okej. Det var det. Vi står nu för nästa makraken. Nästa vi där boy. Passar vi upp på Jesus och nu blir jag nästa. Som det var inte jag säger. Vi är nöjda. Vi har en ny skambo. Nu är en ny skambo igen. Och vi var fyra år sedan det blev en del av det. Vi är en kram på att vi får skåla en genius. Really, really good player. But when Eddie Williamson, now Eddie, he's a very a character. No question about it. He used to play the organ in the clubs and that, and he could really do his stuff. And when we used to hear about him, great Glen's man, we used to see him when he says, Eddie, I think you think more of me than you think of the Glen's. Sorry, I think you think more of the Glen's than you think of me. He says, I think they're the Cumnet than I think of you. I can't say worse than that or better. Nibs has luck. Like his younger brother Nibs. Never passes you. Always a smile. Quite a guy. We've got Niji. We've got a Nabby. We've got a Ni... Now, this is a man. Neely McCulloch. Neely, of the years gone by, he had a chip shop. Ice cream parlour up at Burnfoot. Latterly, when the scheme was in the go, he went round the van. And I can assure you, I'm not one kid ever went to that van and walked away with nothing. And half of them soon got to Ken. <laughs> he didn't need money when he left. Absolute gentleman. And every one of the kids went away with an ice cream or whatever. Gentleman to the last. We've got a Nell Steel, big Nell, good football player again, he went away to live at Bolton. We've got a Nanny Barba, a Nanny Cherry. We've got a Ned Park, this is one of uh, Glenn's best supporters when we used to play at the old field in at Connell Park. A lady, but by God, she could hold her in with one of the men that went there. We've got another Kilpatrick, all know there was a boy, with a character in run about his bike to the age of God knows what. His son Richard, goal machine, another Glens player. Richard just scored goals for fun. We've got an SP Campbell. An SP is a bookie. And it's at times. And I always remember when I was about 16 year old, 17, I was serving my apprenticeship as a painter, and his wife asked me to go and paper a fireplace wall. I, said, well, I don't think I'm ready for that. Ah, you'll do fine when you come. So I sat the morning and I nips along. And she see, after about 10 o'clock, she said, really, a wee cup of tea, Alice? Oh, that would be lovely. The painter loved tea, you know. So she says, go through the dinette, as they called them, in the house's wee room that you had your tea in. So <coughs> through to the dinette, and there were a cup of tea, plate of bacon and eggs. That's what you beauty. So I'm tearing in the bacon and eggs when I hear Mrs. Campbell shouting, <coughs> Pardon me, Nespy, you're, you're going to get up, your breakfast is on the table. I said, You better tell Nespy to stay where you are because his breakfast is in the painter. What, what was you then? We had a Nan Clegg, who was a male, who was a Nina, and our, our old friend Nick Brown, Andra, the an aircraft player, but Andra was. Did it as much deadliness as a substitute. I think they called him Cruff Yuvan. Andrew would come on and turn again for you any given time. We have a Ned Park and her character, a Ned Smith and a Ned Whiteford. We have a Nipper Campbell. We have a Parker Lopez. Parker was the uh, kind of head of the, of the, of the family. We have a Paisley McClatchy. Quite a character there, Paisley. <coughs> He's uh, of the Orange Persuasion and he upholds the, their standing in the village. We have a Pali, Pali Brechne and we have a Pan Poland. Pan used to live in Burnfoot. His son John was a very good friend of mine. John actually became an artist when he left the school and he used to do Bruns in our Wally, the Sunday Post, a few years ago. So there have been a few can they have decent people come out when you come up? There's a Pandy, and that pal of mine, well, it wasn't a nice name, but Pansy Patterson Jim. The Jim is a big, strong, 
quite quiet man, lovely, lovely fella. PJ Harris, you know, a lot of PJs, you've got Jack, Jack. Well Jack likens Jack likens himself to Earl Flynn, so I'm saying no more than that. Then we've got Beam Kerr, we've got Peddler Ferguson. I'll come back to Beam Kerr. Beam's one of our groundsmen now and Beam's kind of fancy the bar at eh? A good lad. We've got a Peary. Then we've got my old pal Pete Nare. Now with Pete Nar, John Ray. I'm not telling you his middle name and he'll never talk to me again. It's actually WC. John WC Ray. I remember one night I was doing to get him. We used to go down to bring him for a wee pint on a Friday night. And I get in the house. Uh, I'm, no, I'm no gone. I'm no gone tonight. And his wife Jenny says, Tell Alec why you're no going. I'm not telling him nothing. I said, I'm just no going, Alec. I said, oh, you need money, I've got some money. We're enough to get us all a couple of things. I'm not going. So Jenny says, tell him why you're no going. And at this point, there was a suitcase, a big gigantic suitcase, bumping up and down in the flare. Who would be rabbits? He was selling wild rabbits. And here's... <laughs> He opened the case and he's right out. Hannah's have come out this thing. And, and she says, Ali, if he doesn't tell you, I'll tell you. Oh, he says, the rabbit ate my shoes. The rabbit's ate my shoes. He <laughs> chowed all the uppers of his shoes. But John went to the pub with slippers on. That's my boy. We've got Peggy Ferguson. We've got Pepper Rodison. We've got a Ferse. He has his surname is McPherson. We've got a Pigeon. We've got a Pimmy Montgomery. We've got a Pimple Murdoch, lovely family, one or two of them, we went with that name, good lads. We've got Pimp Susan, another guy, a character, Pimpy Stewart, they're all characters. Pinky Stewart, Pip Smith, Piper Campbell. He was the father of Hugh Curley, we mentioned one of the other things that the Glens saved you. Piper played the pipes, obviously, and my God, he could play them. And he entertained many a buddy with his pipes, that man. We've got Pitchy Richards, a busy hasty, and a nice family. One of them, Jim, is one of the one stall up in the, become the community council, James. If you have a complaint to me, Jimmy Boyle will sort it out for you. We've got Pluggy McDonald, Podgy Perry, Pompey Brown, father of Brown the Teeth, and what a guy this one is. He used to work in the cooperative grocery and that. <laughs> Entertainment Plus. We've got Pussy Holland, and another good wee football player. We've got Porky Park, who was an uncle of mine. Porky was actually one of the, he was the original Glen Afton secretary when they started up way back. Gone now, but moved to Fife, Porky. We've got Pringle, Pud Shankland, Buggy Allen, I think I've been doing it. Spectrum, we got a Puggy Allen. We were Pum McCracken. And we had a Pum Summerwell. He was a good player. Pum was one of our, the fellas when you come that they got killed in the Second World War. A wee in behind the enemy lines doing his stuff. A good player. Never got back to him. We had a Pumpy Jackson. And then I come to, well, we called him Puskus McCullough. Daniel McCullough. With a player. I used to go to the Glen's training occasionally and I can tell you any player I've ever played against I could get the ball off and I know him. No off no off of the Danny boy. So the peeps, a Pim Ferguson, Patey McMullen sadly away and a big gentleman Patey was a big strong strong man. Pie Brown, Pim Hamilton and Puck Haddo and that is it for the moment. Thank you.